Hello, my name is Jake. Welcome to the CTE program. Okay. Hi, my name is Nancy Roten. I am the department chair for CTE, and that's uh, career and technical education. I want to talk to you a little bit about what our programs um, are that we offer here at Northport High School. We have health science, culinary arts, digital design, web design, engineering, uh, intro to teaching, as well as early childhood education. We have just a wealth of programs that students can participate in. The goal is to provide students the opportunity to become industry certified, and these are nationally recognized um, industry certification exams. The idea is that students have the opportunity to uh, take a variety of classes here on campus, but also um, have the opportunity, in addition to take uh, participate in what they call CTSOs, those are career-themed student uh, organizations. They can do anywhere from TSA to FBLA and to HOSA as well. It's important that we are providing these students the skill sets to help make them marketable and um, employable. Hi, my name is Christian Garcia. I'm a student at Northport High School and I am a part of the CTE program and I really believe that it's a very important part of the high school. Web development. Hi, my name is Melina Frederick and I am the web development teacher at Northport High School. I've been teaching here for 17 years and I've been teaching web design for the last 14. The goal of the web development program is to learn how to build web pages and to learn some basic computer programming. Throughout the courses, you will be learning how to build web pages using HTML and CSS. Students will even learn how to create games, animations, and drawings using computer programming languages such as Python and JavaScript. We even touch on how to create virtual reality environments and apps to use on mobile phones. I love teaching web development because I get to have my students for three to four years in a row. I really get to know them as a person and then I get to see them progress in learning how to build their web pages from scratch, starting at a very basic level, and then learning how to integrate the computer programming languages to build more advanced websites. Hello, my name is Justin Tyson. I'm in Web Scripting Fundamentals. It is the third level in the Web Design program. Right now I'm learning Python, which is a coding language, and we can use Python to make um, simple games on web pages. Digital Design Hi, I'm Brittany Rutherford. This is my fourth year teaching at Northport High School and my third year teaching digital design. My goal for my students is that they all earn industry certifications with me, earning Adobe Certified Associate qualifications by the end of their second year with me. That means that they've become certified in Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Out of my upper level digital design classes, we also run a student-led poster business called Northport Prince that we just started up last year. The money for that business translates to scholarship dollars for my graduating seniors. Students do everything from organizing orders and writing invoices to designing and delivering the posters to customers. My goal is that all students can become proficient in every area of the business from handling themselves professionally to operating the equipment. I want these kids to be able to build their resumes by holding adult level industry certifications find their passions in developing their interests, and to develop real-world skills that they can take with them after they graduate. My name is Norvell Robinson, and this class is really important to me because it helps teaches creativity and helps with leadership and working in a business. Engineering. Hi, um, my name is Ken Jacoby. I am the engineering teacher here at Northport High School. Our focus is teaching kids the basics of engineering and the different types of engineering, but doing it in a way where they actually get to use what they're learning in a hands-on approach. If they can demonstrate and use it in a real life application, then you know they've actually learned it and they're gonna take that with them for the rest of their life. We typically take 30 kids to the state and national competition each year uh, where the kids get an opportunity to compete in all different types of events. Like you can see animatronics behind me, or um, biotech, fashion design, music production. So we're trying to give the students a flavor of seeing if they like engineering, find out a little bit about what it is, and maybe what area of engineering they might be interested in, 
and then help them develop their skill set and be prepared to go on to college and hopefully pursue a career in engineering. Hi, my name is Erica Schmidt. I'm an engineering four, and I'm also the president for Technology Student Association here at Northport High. What we chose to focus on was the problem of um, having insoles for athletes. Our solution was 3D printing insoles for the foot um, to ensure that they would have the best shaped insole. This is a model that we actually created that we 3D printed ourselves and we kind of went into depth on the specifics of how this will be done, what type of printers we'll use, and how it is the most cost efficient option. That concludes our presentation. We would like to thank you for watching. So long.